Our son, Will, who was 15 and a freshman in high school at the time, lost his life to an illness that he didn't know he had, and an illness that his family didn't know he had, an illness that his friends didn't know he had. When I speak to a community that has not gone through this, it's almost more of a challenge because they may think, oh, that could never happen here. Well, in this community, they now know that it can happen here and that wonderful, successful teenagers are susceptible to mental illness, uh, which can lead to suicide. One in five of you suffer from depression. One in five of the adults in this room suffer from depression. Every 13 minutes in America, somebody takes their lives. Every two hours, it's a teenager. The cold, hard truth of it is the numbers are awful and they're not getting better. And the pandemic has had a negative effect, not only on suicide, but on stress and anxiety and mental health in general. And the only way that I can raise awareness is to talk about it. And if I can raise awareness in a positive way that inspires other people to talk about it, I know it's helping that community regardless of what the numbers might say. It's an illness that is treatable, beatable, common, curable, and it's oh, Okay, but nobody knew that, at least in my community, nobody knew that and Will didn't know that. Why is he not happy? Why am I not happy? What is wrong with me? Why am I not like anybody else? He didn't know what was wrong with him and his father had no clue. And my goal is to have all of you guys perhaps look at yourselves in the mirror just a little bit differently tonight. And hopefully you look at yourselves and say, I have the power to deliver hope, because you do. And when you do that, you increase the will to live. And that's why I'm here. I am not here to prevent suicide. I am here to increase the will to live. And if I can do that, suicide will be prevented.